Another key concept that we will discuss is electronegativity. Electronegativity refers to the attraction of an atom for electrons. And in biology, we need to distinguish two kinds of molecules that are different based on their electronegativity. And I'm going to abbreviate electronegativity for the rest of this board as EN. And the types of molecules that we need to discuss are called polar, where polar molecules have an unequal electronegativity. Unequal EN. And these molecules are always hydrophilic, or tend to be hydrophilic, based on having one charged portion of the molecule. The other type, the opposite, are nonpolar molecules, where there is equal electronegativity, and these tend to be hydrophobic. OK, let's look at some polar molecules. Whether a molecule is polar or not polar depends on two things. Whether it has got polar bonds, where the electrons are unequally distributed, and it also depends on the geometry of the molecule. But we won't deal too much about that. I've put it in for completeness' sake. So here is water, and you can see that there is, I've drawn, an unequal electron distribution. This is called a dipole. And the dipole is because the oxygen of the water is very electronegative. It pulls the electrons towards it, and it depletes the electrons somewhat from the hydrogens that it is bonded to. So you get a molecule where the oxygen is somewhat negative because of its high electronegativity, and the hydrogens are somewhat positive because of their lower electronegativity. And this is indicated by those deltas. Delta minus means that the atom is more negative than an atom that's indicated delta plus. So delta negative is the oxygen, delta plus is the hydrogen. The geometry of the molecule also is such that these dipoles don't cancel out. And so you get overall a molecule that is polar overall. Here are two examples. One is polar and one is not polar. The top example is propane, which has the chemical formula, as you can see, C3H8. It is just carbons and hydrogens. And carbons and hydrogens are neither of which are particularly electronegative atoms. Neither have a tendency to pull electrons more than the other. And so the bonds and the molecule are overall nonpolar. There is an equal distribution of electrons throughout the molecule. On the other hand, isopropanol, you can see, has got a hydroxyl group added to it. And there is that oxygen, which is highly electronegative. It will be pulling electrons away from the carbons and the carbon and the hydrogens. And therefore, you get a partial negative charge or a more negative character in the hydroxyl, in the oxygen part of the um, molecule. And this molecule is polar. And you can get a hint as to whether a molecule is polar or not by whether or not it has an electronegative atom like oxygen that is associated with it. And now we're going to take a pause and you are going to do an assignment to practice whether or not you can recognize polar and nonpolar molecules. <laughs>